Welcome back, everyone, to Madeline Island. The island is 14 miles long. It is six miles wide, and there are about 220 people who live here all year round. But that number soars into the thousands as tourists hop the ferry and flood into the island and its town, La Pointe. They are welcomed with open arms. Well, welcome to Madeline Island here in downtown La Pointe. There, there's stuff here. It's not just an island. <laughs> it's not just an island. Actually, history is one of the, the key pieces to Madeline Island, and most folks aren't familiar with the fact that some of the early earliest settlements, uh, not only in the Midwest, but in Wisconsin, were here uh, on Madeline Island. We're about the out of doors. You can kayak, you can bike, you can uh, swim at one of the most beautiful beaches in the Midwest, and uh, uh, walk nature trails and have uh, breathtaking views of the Apostle Islands. And this is the only island in the archipelago of the Apostles that has a uh, community. And that's because before they went to be a national seashore, uh, there had been a settlement here for so many years that they couldn't let it go back to nature like they did with uh, the rest of the islands. You can also shop and you can also dine here on Madison Island. Lots of amenities. Some wonderful, uh, wonderful restaurants. You know, we have a number of amenities. Um, not as many as in an urban area, but uh, uh, certainly, um, in fact, the island store here, we could get uh, lobster and scallops and fresh meats and uh, wonderful fresh breads. Head out to one of our parks, and those are about seven miles from town. Okay. If I had some advice to give somebody, I would say don't hesitate to, to take a vehicle or a mode of transportation or plan to, to rent a moped or bike because uh, the, the parks are just gorgeous. And I truly think they're an antidote to any stress level <laughs> that one may carry, um, just to, to walk among the, the beauty of nature. But it's not all natural beauty. When, when you come to Madeline Island, you have to check out Tom's Burn Down Cafe. Years ago, this <laughs> bar in the center of town burned down, and instead of rebuilding it, its owners decided to make do. It's one of a kind, to say the least. A canvas tent serves as the roof, and artists of all kinds display their works. During the summer months on a warm summer evening with live music, this is the place to hang out. And the owner is quite a character. Yes, Tom, <laughs> Tom's Burn Down Cafe.